There is two ways to bulk edit your products on your Shopify store and in this video I'm going to show you both ways. My name is Clayton Bates and let's actually just get into the video. First of all, the first way you can actually bulk edit your products through the Shopify store and the second way is you can actually do it on an Excel file. So I might just quickly show you on the Excel file how you do it. So if you're in the back end of your Shopify store, you just click products and it'll say all products here. And then you just go here to export and then you click all products and then you click export products. So basically what this has done now, it's sent you an Excel file to your email address with all the information about the products and stuff like that. So I might just grab that from my other screen and it just sends you it like this. If we just click here in the top left and then double click on that line, it will expand it out so we can see it a lot easier. And we can just go in here and change the title, um, you know, the tags, things like that. We can add all that sort of stuff. If we wanted to scroll over to price, we could like update the price like that. And then all we do is press file, save as, save that to your desktop and then come back here and press import. And then we'll just add file and then upload it back to your Shopify store. Now, little quick thing about this, I think probably 99% 99, 99 of people watching this, this has nothing to do with them. But basically, I used to have a store with 8,000 products. Don't recommend ever, anyone ever having that many. There's hardly any niches that you actually need 8,000 products. Um, but basically, I actually exported this and then re-imported re it to my website and it actually messed up like hundreds and hundreds of my product descriptions. It was just a nightmare I didn't realize for like a month. Um, so, you know, sometimes it can corrupt the file if there's just so, so much data. Um, so, you know, anything under about a thousand products, um, you know, you probably want to do the Excel. It's fine. Um, anything over that, I'll be a bit cautious. And this little disclaimer, that was actually like four years ago. So maybe it's updated. It's not as bad anymore with Shopify. Now, the other way is to go to the same spot here. Click this little button here. And this will actually select all the products. Now, if you have over 50 products, there's going to be a little link here that you actually have to click. It will say select um, more than 50 products. You click that. And then just press edit products. Anyone who doesn't have 50 products, you just click edit products. And this is going to actually show us all the fields for our products and stuff on the actual store. Now, if we actually, oh, sorry, automatically, you'll just have these three here. Um, if we want to, like, say, edit a product title or, I'm um, sorry, it's already got that. Um, maybe we want to add, like, um, you know, availability or something like that. We just click add field and then just to select whichever one, um, you know, barcode, inventory quantity, um, whichever fields we actually want to update. Now, if there's any fields here you don't want to update, you can easily just X them out. Um, I normally only have two or three open at a time just to make it a little bit easier. But basically, all you have to do is just click on the spot. So if we want to change the price here, we change it to 59.95. Availability, we don't want this to be, be available. We can unselect it, whichever. So that's pretty much how it works. And then you press save up here in the top right. Now, what I normally do when I'm doing this, I never make more than 10 changes without pressing save because the last thing you want to do is have like 50 products here and you've made like 100 changes and then press save and Shopify crashes or your computer crashes or something like that. So I always make maybe 10 changes, press save, 10 changes, press save, 10 changes, press save. Um, because, you know, it would really suck if you spent like half an hour doing this and then, um, you know, one of those things happen. The other fields you can add, you pretty much can add anything here except really the product description. If you want to fix up the product description, you're going to have to go in each product and fix that. A bit annoying. Um, but I guess that's that's how it works. Same with the images. You can't really change the images, but pretty much everything else you can. So general, title, tags, product type, vendor, status, template, sales channels. You can make them available and stuff. All the stuff with prices, all the stuff with inventory, shipping, SEO, stuff like that. 
So there's a lot of tools here you can actually change on the Shopify store without going into each product individually. Um, so hopefully this helped. Um, let me know what video you want me to make next. I'm really trying to be committed to making lots more videos um, because if you don't know my story, I learned a lot from YouTube six, seven years ago. I want to pay it forward and I want to help my clients as well. So when they finish working with me, there's lots of how-to videos on, you know, like so they can make adjustments to their store and stuff like that. So let me know by liking or subscribing if you like this. If you don't, let me know that also. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.